Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more Let's Play Manufactio. I upload a new episode of Modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. Smash like if you feel I earned it and also consider leaving a boom in the comment section below. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. Now. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, I did set up one machine to make military packs so that we could have a full bin of military going. Let's see military. The military science is actually pretty easy. Yeah, we just needed pistol magazines, concrete, and frag grenades. So the concrete we did do. I know that we did do that. And uh, that was in the advanced carpenter. So that was already set up then. Pistol magazines. Yeah, looks like we only needed to make one standard assembler and give it gunpowder, copper, and iron. The gunpowder was coming from the slag being run through the crusher. It, uh, it turned slag into uh, a little bit of gunpowder and a lot of sand. So that's how we got the gunpowder and then the grenades, coal and iron plates. Oh, that's, that's super simple, yeah. So let me see, I'm pretty sure I let these guys build up. Why is this dude empty? Oh, motors. Oh my goodness. Did I make a boo-boo? Okay. So yeah, I set up engines. So congratulations, past D-Day. You now have almost 2,000 engines. But you now have zero motors. <laughs> Congratulations. And at least we still have lubricant. All right. And yeah, I set up tin and uh, and concrete over here. The tin was probably for... We got fluid duct. We got item duct. And I believe this one was going to be flux duct. Yeah, so I have the bookmarks. These are new bookmarks. Because today, I really do want to work on oil processing uh, version 2 with the distillation tower and the pump jack. But uh, there's one thing that I really wanna make first uh, so that it's more streamlined, and that is sulfuric acid. We wanna work on sulfuric acid today. And uh, also, oh yeah, I ran into this problem. I ran out of fuel on my chainsaw and my mining drill. And since the fuel tanks are unfamiliar, it won't reload. So let me make, let me do one thing real quick. We need to unlock fuel tanks. And I believe that is part of military, right? Yeah, we need to go to the flamethrower. So 50, let's just grab here, military, three stacks, three stacks of green, three stacks of red. So we do need the flamethrower so that we can make fuel tanks and it's kind of goofy the fuel tanks are filled in the bottling machine with gasoline uh, because jei does have recipes for the chem lab the chemical lab all right so flamethrower hey hey we're making progress already i love that ding sound by the way i don't know if you guys feel the same way but i feel uh, a sense of accomplishment every time one of those dingers goes off I also want rocketry, so we need explosives. I believe that's in science. Wow, yeah, that's why. I think all of the military stuff was holding us back, and now it's not. So let's open up all of the stuff. Rocket launchers. Yeah. Explosives. Three. Whoa. Three. And grab some more military. This stuff is going to keep going. Now that the bin is, has room, it's going to start working up again. Nice. I love this factory stuff. All right. We have rocket launcher. And then should I? Oh, yeah. I forgot. I accidentally put stuff in here. Let's go grenade launcher too. So we got the grenade launcher. I don't want to go too happy because I want to do sulfuric acid. Uh, there we go. Rocket launchers. <laughs> I'm getting too excited. Okay. Does that make this fuel tank? And... Yes! Ah, there we go. 
Oh, that feels so much better. Now I can use these guys again. And uh, there, let's put this off for right now. I got dirt stuck in the bottom. Dude, for some weird reason, I can't get the tool belt upgrade 3 to work. It won't let me eat it. It's frustrating. I even tried putting it into the quick hunger so that I can eat. It's not working. All right, sulfuric acid. Let me get back on track. I don't want you guys to get frustrated with me. <laughs> uh, I want to go with distillation tower. This is prospecting. I believe sulfuric acid we can already make, but I also wanted to unlock solars. Let's go solars. I wanted to see advanced solars. Okay, they generate 256 RF a tick. Let's see. Solar energy. One, two, three, four, five. Five. And five. Let's go advanced solars. All right, we got that. Let's go ahead and grab the windmills just to clear this up. One more. We got windmills, okay. Oh yeah, I definitely wanted to grab advanced electronics too. 300, whoa. I am so glad that past D-Day automated all of this stuff. Way to go past D-Day. I will forgive you for uh, messing up on the motors. Dang, even more green. Green and blue. There we go. Advanced Electronics 2, which opens up the second tier of uh, modules. I'm going to skip that for right now. Advanced Electronics 2 also opens up something else too, right? I guess we could do a blue science and a military while we're here. And just one is shift, right? Shift, left click, yeah. And shift, left click. Let's go. Blue science and military science. That should make these guys look repeatable, right? Oh, this one's not repeatable? I guess they don't want us to take advantage of loot bags. That's fine. Pink is gonna be the next one after that, and it's not really that difficult. What I really wanna do is I wanna set up, oh, now we have fuel tanks. We're gonna need the immersive engineering mixer to uh, mix the sulfur and pulverized iron into, with water, of course, into sulfuric acid, and the sulfuric acid is required to make redstone batteries. The redstone batteries are required to make LV capacitors. So then uh, we can use LV capacitors to make MV capacitors. And also we need sulfuric acid to upgrade our basic advanced to elite control circuits. These guys are gonna be important. I'll make a handful of these guys as well. So let's get started with the, uh, the blueprint to the mixer. There we go, military science pack. Oop, let me drop off the uh, research. Okay, so where did we leave off the mixer? So let's see, we need paper, scaffolding, sheet metal, lapis, a button, and a light engineering block, which we do not have. Okay, how difficult it is to make this guy. One advanced assembler, copper, iron, copper plate makes three. Wow, that's great. So we're definitely gonna need to set up an advanced assembler to start making light engineering blocks for us. Okay, and we'll put the blueprint of sorts in the front here. This item won't be used up. And there we go. Yeah, you're gonna start making uh, light engineering blocks for us. Yeah, yeah, they're on top now. And uh, the reason why I did that is because uh, in the challenges, uh, yeah, right here, light engineering blocks. So we're good on pistol magazines, basic control circuits, inserters, conveyors. Now we're good on light engineering blocks and we're working on batteries right now. So 
so let's see. Now that we have one of the light engineering blocks, we can make the blueprint for the mixer. Sweet. And five steel scaffolding. There we go. Now we have the mixer is all ready. We need sheet metal tank. What do we need for you? We got one at the minimum. Okay. So let's go ahead and see where we're going to set up our sulfuric acid to be processed. Also, I went ahead and I uh, replaced all of the wood with factory blocks. And then, of course, I chiseled them. These, these are three different types of factory blocks. They're just chiseled to look differently. Uh, I did this because zombies are notorious for picking up blocks, and it's driving me crazy replacing all of the wood planks that they, uh, they pick up when they just walk around and get shot by my rifles. It's super duper annoying, so they can't pick up factory blocks. So I went ahead and I replaced the floor at least uh, in there for right now. All right, let's see, over here, I think the pollution is dissipating pretty well. Uh, that line right there you see, that is where the chunk loader border is. I think that's pretty funny. Of course, that smog over there is from uh, me being silly with the, uh, the Coke oven. We'll clean that up in a little bit. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to mirror these four oil sheet metal tanks as sulfuric acid tanks. And we'll put them on the other side of this as in a mirror. And I'll put them over here. So this is the part of the video where I cut to it being complete. And we're back. I grabbed everything that we needed, hopefully. Uh, I made four fluid routers and the levers for the sheet metal tanks. I didn't forget this time. I went ahead and I set up the area. It's mirrored from the oil. And then uh, eventually I'm going to get around to replacing the oak wood planks here as well. But I forgot how incredibly expensive factory blocks are in this pack. They're very expensive. Uh, I also have prepared an area for the distillation tower, which will be an upcoming episode. But right now we're going to work on sheet metal tanks to hold our sulfuric acid and then the immersive engineering bottling station not the bottling station, the immersive engineering mixer to create the sulfuric acid. So let's go ahead and grab the sheet metal tank. Uh, we can put four of them down. One, and two, three, whoops, four, there we go. Okay, let's grab the hammer. There we go, hiding it in there. And we can ping these guys. There we go. And uh, it doesn't matter, they're all the same image on all sides, so don't worry about which side you need to hammer it on. Okay, and the way I did it, one block away, we'll have the fluid router. I know I can use the hammer to separate the connection between the pipes, uh, but I want to just avoid that by putting a block space in between. That way I know 100% sure the, the pipes won't cross. So we'll connect in here. Like this. Okay. Then this pipe needs to connect to the... Uh, what's it called? The bottling station. Why do I keep calling it a bottling station? It's a mixer. There we go. So let's put the mixer right here. Okay, okay, let's see. Which side is the front? Is the front going to be... Because once I hammer it, I can't put it back in the silo, so... Okay, that is the front, good. Is it? It looks like the fluid output comes out the front. Okay, so from here, the front of this machine, orange is output. We're going to go ahead and output. Actually, let me right-click this guy. Only output bottom fluid. Output all fluids. Yeah, output bottom fluid only. Hmm. So it looks like we're going to have to make some sulfuric acid before we connect these pipes. So let me run the pipe real quick to right before. There we go. We'll go this way. 
like that. So I want to make sure that the tanks fill up with sulfuric acid and not with water. So we need to hook this guy up to power and then we need to give it some items first so we can get uh, some sulfuric acid going. All right. On. This guy's getting water. Okay. I brought the pulverized iron with me. We're gonna have to set this up on a servo. I moved the iron to here. Disabled. All right, we need one iron for the filter. There we go, one iron. And we need one more sulfur that I forgot to take with us. There we go, two. Because the filter needs to have, needs to know what to send. So five of each, that should give us one batch of uh, sulfur. Let's do, okay, it doesn't do singles. So let's do stacks. I don't want it to do infinite because then it will mess up. Okay, sh yeah, shift click. 32, shift click, shift click. There we go. I don't want it to do infinite because it might fill the entire mixer with uh, sulfur and then it won't mix. Let's see. It's busy sending the sulfur down the line, so we gotta wait just a little bit. It does look like it is sending it. It's only the initial batch that takes a while. Once this guy has a stack and it sends a stack, we could do... There we go. Sulfuric acid. Let me check one thing, if we can bucket the sulfuric acid. Whoops. Did I throw my bucket? Yeah. Can't right click with the bucket, can I? Bummer. I can't right click the machine, can I right click the output? Output only bottom fluid, which is sulfuric acid. Let's go ahead and connect one of the pipes. Bucket. This guy is making pollution. That is a bummer. It's hoping that the immersive engineering machine was not going to make pollution. Sulfuric acid is coming inside. Oh, can I bucket it from here, right? Can I. Are there no sulfuric acid? Oh, it's not a fluid you can put in a bucket. There's no bucket for sulfuric acid. Ugh. That's why I can't right click it. Yeah. And right click oil. But I can't right click the sulfuric acid. How am I going to set the filter? Whoops. See, so it won't let me click that one. So we need to do top, let's see. Awesome. I'm gonna do a risk top, sulfuric acid. Whoops. Top sulfuric acid. 
and top sulfuric acid. That's nice. I like that. Uh, let's just hope that that is the correct uh, sulfuric acid. I'll run the pipes. Uh, getting rid of water is not going to be that difficult. Right, let's lay some pipe. Acid. There we go. All right, that makes me happy. They're all gonna fill up with sulfuric acid very slowly. Nice. So now we have our supply. It's a bummer that this guy makes pollution. I'm hoping I can just tag a chimney and uh, a filter on the side of this guy. It looks like he only makes carbon. Uh oh, large flying swarm has been detected. Let me get a better area. I have not played Manufactio in a while, so I'm looking forward to the guns. Plus, we have sniper rifles on the roof, and uh, I believe I put AKs inside the other ones. I do want to get the quest reward. Naga. Dude, I can't stand that this thing is Where's that drone? Alright. Do we have another Naga hiding over here? Oh, it's inside. Oh, funny. Bye bye. Hi, buddy. Oop, there's a lot of zombies over there. Hey guys. Oh, where'd you go? Dude. <sighs> Zombie hordes. Cool. Reload. You got stuck on my conveyor. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, no chance, buddy. All right, so the tunnel was cut, and now we can hit this guy up with levers. Let's go. One, two, three, and four. And let's go down. Okay, and F7 will show us zombie spawns. Let's go. And we can follow this pipe. Went down over here. Let's set some nooks right here. And chase this pipe. Let's go. There we go. I decided to go with Y level 59, because that makes more sense. Okay. Oop. I went uh, the wrong direction over here. There we go. That's safe now. 
and went down. Okay, here we go. Whoop, whoop. And this way. Let's go. Continuing to follow the pipe. Whoop, I left some trash. Shame, shame. Ooh, okay. Let's put it over here now. Okay. Looking good, looking good. What? There we go. One here, one here, and one here. And it's nice and lit up. Now we all we need to do is uh, connect the pipe to our machine. Since the lever is already in place, let's go up. Boom shakalaka, sulfuric acid. Yeah, yeah. All right. And we can also do the same thing with these guys. So let's do one. This one's sulfuric. This one's going to be sulfuric. And this one as well. Whoops. Like this. And then should I go above ground? Nah. Yeah. I'll go like this. Connect it. Whoops. Connected. And whoops. Times two. That's not where you go. Okay. Let's poke a short hole. I can always fill this in later. All right. Machines. Sulfuric acid, baby. That's how it's done. Yo. Nice. So now we have our uh, standard fluid assemblers. They were already put in place. I completely forgot about them. Probably when I uh, I stopped playing the pack to switch. And let's, oops, did not notice this. Probably because I don't run around with uh, F7 on over here. There's my nooks. Okay, let's set this up, make sure. It's probably because the machines covered up my glowstone, that's why. I think it's good now. Yeah, that was the only mistake I made. Nice. All right, so let's see. For redstone battery, we need sulfuric acid, and all we need, wow, it's super cheap. All we need is copper plates and iron plates. Uh, so I'm gonna set one filter up for redstone batteries, and then let's see. We can make the LV capacitor with redstone batteries. Solar generator is going to be something we can just make in a standard assembler. That's super cheap, I'll make that. The uh, advanced solar generator. Oh wow, building it by hand requires four solar generators, but in the machine, none. Hmm. So I gotta make sure that I don't mass produce these dudes. MV capacitor is gonna be two LVs, basic craft. Leadstone flux duct requires these redstone batteries, nice. So as soon as we got wet redstone batteries on tap, we can do the uh, filter for the lubricant fluid assembler to make leadstone flux duct. The reason why I want to make these guys is because uh, they are constantly upgraded. So even though these just do 1000 RF a tick, you upgrade them into uh, the one that's more, and then you upgrade that one, and then you upgrade that one. And then you get uh, the resonant, the best ones. So we have to make them. Elite control circuit, standard fluid assembler, sulfuric acid. There we go. We'll get that one. And this fluid router was uh, one that I put up to make the fluid routers for the, whatchamacallits, the steel uh, sheet metal tanks. So let me set up uh, the filters and then we can continue on from there. Oh no, guys, I completely forgot about the mixer. It's been making pollution this entire time. So I slapped a coke brick chimney with some filters on the sides. Hopefully it touching this one block will uh, redirect the pollution to that one block. Uh, it is raining and it is dark and in this pack we can't skip the night. So let's go ahead. It is making all of the sulfur, sulfuric acid that we need. Let's head back. 
Uh, there's a couple of things that I am missing, but I'm gonna have to do that in between episode. Mainly the production of gold and the production of lead. That's something we're gonna need now. Let me turn off my magnet. The, let's go to the manual. This one is plates. Let's go ahead and make plates out of gold and lead. Yeah, that's all the lead in ingot form I have right now. I will set up uh, lead and gold to uh, start making plates for us, definitely. In between episodes, that's something where I'm just going to relax, take it easy, you know. So I end up moving my machines every 30 seconds when I don't like the way they sit. <laughs> So with this, we'll make the plates, and then we do need to turn around, and as soon as it starts making the lead, uh, there we go. Oh, it's in the hopper. How about if we switch this? Yeah, there we go. The lead. I need to grab the gold, and we need to run the gold through the wire. There we go. To make gold wire. There's our lead plates, what we have of it. I grabbed an iron and a copper, a basic control circuit and an advanced control circuit so we can set the filters. All right, we're looking a little bit better on gold wires. So let's go ahead and come back here so we can set the filters on these guys. I went ahead and I put them down already. Everything is connected. So let's see, right here, this guy is going to be our, uh, let's go copper plate and our iron plate. This is gonna start making uh, the redstone batteries. And then next to it for right now, this guy is going to need, let's go gold wire. I'll set that up in between episodes. We need advanced control circuits and we need basic control circuits. There we go. They're all white listed, infinite, they should be firing down the line now. That's gonna make us our two circuits. And then over here, oh yeah, this guy's not connected yet. We need two more filters. One, two. Let's go right click, right click, white list, lead plate. And then uh, let's see the other one. Right click, right click, white list. While they are making the battery, let's go ahead and run this pipe. It makes sense if we go this way. And yeah, I got a little bit of uh, straggler carbon. I'll poke a hole and let it float through later on. So there we go. This guy has this. And let's see, can we... Have you made one already for me? Oh, I need to access the machine controller. Missing input items. They're probably still on their way. They're taking their sweet time. Okay, copper's here. Iron is gonna show up in a little bit. It already has the sulfuric acid. Oh no, guys, we're out of plates. Whoops. I'm gonna have to work on that too. I need to uh, get the iron factory up and running. We're out of plates. Wow, that was 41,000 plates. Where did they go? Probably making motors. Which were still out. Oh no, that's this is terrible, guys. Uh, I do have some plates stashed. So let's go ahead and we can put some one stack in manually for right now. So I can show you guys that it works, of course. We'll put the plates in here. There we go and you will be making us redstone batteries. Nice. So let's set the filter and then I'll set the, uh, let's go, the bin. There we go, filter set. And I can plug this hole, there we go. I need this guy. And here we can make some more since it is also one of the quests. Challenges, end game challenges, there we go. We'll start moving these guys. And then of course this guy needs to be put back on. Nice, the cable's right there. 
See, sometimes stuff works out. All right, here, we're not gonna go under it. We're gonna go up. And we will set a servo, whoops. Right click, right click, disabled. Now we have them in the system as well. They're probably gonna move now from here to over here so that it can start making, yeah, we got the lead, should be one of these. Where did the lead go? Did I not put it in? Ugh, I didn't put it in. <laughs> I set the filter, but I didn't put the lead in. Okay, so that's all of our lead plates for right now. This guy should be getting. The lead plates are gone. Oh, am I that doofy? I'm that doofy, yeah. I'm here staring at the machine. Why is it missing? It already made them. They made them so fast uh, with the four plates that I didn't even notice. So here we go. Leadstone flux duct. We can get rid of this guy. We can get rid of the redstone battery. LV capacitors we can now make with the redstone. I'm going to make a uh, standard assembler for the solar generators off camera. It's just putting down a machine and setting filters. Same thing with the, uh, with the advanced solars. I do have plans for these guys. Same thing, just setting filters. MV capacitor, we make them with the LVs and basics. And then let's see, control, elite control circuits. These guys should be working since I set all the filters before. Should be in this guy, right? Missing input item. Yeah, I'm derping, derping pretty hard. Uh, I still need to put in the uh, gold cables, of course. There we go. Here, I'm going to need one of these dudes as well. Because these, we're gonna have to have a bunch of as well. And then let's see, do I have another bin? I'll put down another bin. And elite control circuits, there we go. Everything's working exactly the way it is. We just ran out of iron plates. We ran out of 41,000 iron plates. That just blows my mind right there. Where did this block come from? I need to quit this episode. I am totally scatterbrained all of a sudden. Here we go. Why did I knock this block out? Weird. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like if you feel like I earned it, and also click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. I left some videos here for you that I think you might like, but I'm not sure if the buttons work. Could you check and let me know? Do it.